But Culpepper to Dwayne Bates, 18 yards, makes it 14 nothing. Minnesota. Egg moves the ball up for Minnesota. Yeah, and, and take a look at Dante Culpepper. The patience in the pocket, and when he didn't have the time, he was able to, to run out of the pocket. Here, you want to force him to his left. He does a great job. This is third and 11, 22 yards past the base. And that would set up Culpepper around the goal well, line. you know he can do this. The naked bootleg touchdown. He ran for 48, threw for 217. Hey, a major up. A little bit of okie doke. Vikings have their own okie doke. Culpepper to throw. The Patriots key on Randy Moss. And that leaves Kelly Campbell, I mean, wide open. Seven-yard touchdown. First career touchdown for Campbell. Vikings cut the lead to 21-4. Wait a minute. Flag on the play in legal formation. Yeah, Brian McKinney is the left tackle. Randy Moss, the outside guy. Randy Moss comes in motion. You know you have to re have a receiver on the line. The end guy cannot be the tackle unless it's tackle eligible. It wasn't. Packers come with a blitz. And the fade is complete to Dwayne Bates. Bates beat Todd McBride, who's in there for the injured Tyrone Williams. I, at 23. I believe that he looked at the film. He was so tentative, he couldn't believe it was him. Culpepper under pressure this time. Throws for the corner. Moss, touchdown. Mike McKenzie could not stay with the fleet. Randy Moss. Mike, the one thing that Randy Moss does on this play is that he just breaks to the outside, and as soon as he clears McKenzie, his hand is in the air. Look at this throw and catch. I mean, that is absolutely perfect. There is no way to defend against that. What a job by Dante Culpepper, and he knows it. This game looks exactly like the game up in Minneapolis. Culpepper, quarterback sweep. Touchdown. I'll tell you what they did is they, they caught the Green Bay Packers. They weren't even set. They were shifting and moving. They caught Pepper went on the first down. They carried the ball in the end zone himself. This was just great heads-up play by the by the Minnesota Vikings offense. And watch, watch the this. block by Bryant McKinney. But look at these guys. You see the Green Bay Packers are moving all over the place. Bryant also gets a great block, number 40 on the outside. Touchdown. And why not put it in the hands of a 265-pound running back? Culpepper will run for it and make it. Culpepper to the 46-yard line. That's the one thing, the dimension that Dante Culpepper adds to this offense. But Dante Culpepper and Randy Moss's ability to make things happen was very much in evidence, just as it was all season long. No other pitch and catch combination is more prolific. Deep down the left sideline for Randy Moss. Caught! TD! Moss led the NFC in both receptions and receiving yards. He's caught passes in all 80 games he's played for more receptions and more yardage than any fifth-year receiver. First-year Viking, Dwayne Bates. Vikings looking to break a 16-game road losing streak. So, I mean, were they all singing the same song? I'm not sure. Yeah, Dante, so. <laughs> Dante Culpepper, six-yard touchdown run. Saints score 20 to 17, 18 seconds up in the half. Culpepper get tight to Randy Moss. Randy, great, great tightest season. Out. Ten seconds to go. Culpepper to Moss. On and cracking. They've hooked up for 28 touchdowns between them. Vikings pull within one, and then they figure, what the heck? We're not going to do much this year. They go for two, Tommy. He fumbled the ball three times in one play, <laughs> and he still made the two-point conversion. Vikings win third. The Vikes, meanwhile, did all the things they do best. It was a Pro Bowl caliber observation by Randy Moss. Six minutes to play in a tie game. Fourth down. Play action. Dante steps up. Got it. First down. Joey Harrington, Bill Schrader, touchdown. Vikings, Lions, side 14 all. 
third quarter. Bada bada, Dante Culpepper. Kelly Campbell, very nice, 27-yard touchdown. Campbell tries to give the ball to his former college coach, Georgia Tech coach, Viking assistant, George O'Leary. <laughs> Beautiful day up there. Dante Culpepper, bada bada, John Avery, one-time top draft pick. Miami went to Canada for many years, trailing the Vikings on rededication. They have Lambeau Field 20-3. Culpepper to Moss, 27 yards. Randy in the game, nine for 150, Tom. 27-3 Vikes after this play. Short drop, but no pass rush at all, and it beats double coverage for the touchdown. Then for in the division, two on the road. And Dante Culpepper, after the Lions surprised the Vikes with a 10-0 lead, runs it in himself. Setting a new team record, most rushing touchdowns by a quarterback, breaking the mark of one of the best scramblers of all time for Ant Target at 10-6. Mo Williams with a little help from Culpepper right there. And look at Mo. Mo definitely running 61 yards for the Vikes out of the shadow of their own goal post. I think this is what makes Dante Culpepper such a great leader. There he is in the spot shadow, Dre Bly coming up. And at the block, that's not a quarterback just getting in the way. That's a guy throwing a great block, Mo Williams. 61 yards later down the field. Now Culpepper is going to bootleg and look at Moss and then all of a sudden run up the middle, but he's going to get hurt on the play. He gives the Vikings the lead, 13-10. He left with a bad back. To see if the Vikings could stay that way. Donnie Culpepper had missed the last two starts, and so he's back. Jake Plummer is going to miss the next three to five games for the 5-1 Broncos. First things first, Culpepper scrambling. And this allows him to do this, and he's so strong <laughs> to Kelly Campbell, Tom, and whoop! And then the Broncos miss the host, the tackle, 7 0 V men. Yeah, you watch this play, you see the advantage that Dante Culpepper gives you. Randy Moss lined up to the right side of the screen. You see Culpepper give him the look, come off that look, now has the ability with his legs to scramble. Nice block right there by the running back. And then, as you said, the strength to go to Campbell down the field without setting his feet. Those are the things that Dante Culpepper and only a few quarterbacks in this league are able to do. And so now Denver. And then, and then they talk about it right there. And not exactly ho, ho, ho for Shockey and Collins at this point. Meanwhile, the Vikings offense ready to get going. Second quarter, 10-3 to Juman. Dante Culpepper. Guess who he's throwing to? <laughs> Randy Moss, 35 yards, Tom. And the route, we know the route. Well, you, you just watch. This is one-on-one -on -one coverage off the line of scrimmage. That's Will Allen. Watch the little skip by Randy Moss. You don't get the bump on him. He makes it a foot race down the field that you cannot win. Pretty easy throw right there. You're pretty open in the NFL uh, for Dante Culpepper. Next play from the 33, Culpepper to Moss again. What a pretty pass. Oh! What a catch on the run, but Culpepper, 33-yard touchdown. We're tied at 10. And again, it's going to be Will Allen. He's going to be looking for help. You watch the route. Randy Moss going to run right down the middle of the field, duck inside. You've got three Giants right there. They choose to take the other. Dre hand, not comfortable. Meanwhile, Giants kick a couple of field goals until they lead it by six until Culpepper to Moss. Touchdown. And the Vikings lead it 17-16. Moss beats Allen again, but... The Giants, now things look bad. That was one of the greatest catches Randy Moss has ever made. Couple of qualifiers on. E-Train Anthony Thomas touchdown. 10-0. Bears. Free play Minnesota, the Bears offside. Time to call Pepper to Randy Moss. Yeah, and, and you watch Randy Moss, he's running around. He sees number 33, Charles Tillman. And, no, those are the times you'd like to see slightly better effort from Randy. Now Moss caught nine, but there's some that he might have wanted to have another shot at. Here's one of them that he didn't need another shot. Cole Pepper to Moss, 16 yards, 13-10 game in the fourth. Vikings began the fourth quarter down 10. Now, Cole Pepper, Moss, deep in their own territory with four minutes to go. Could the Vikings mount a drive? Same drive. Cole Pepper, Moss, 14 yards, first down. Now second and goal. Refs ignored all. Guess what? Important people, you have the ball. Paul Pepper again to Moss. Seven catches, 111 yards, two TDs. Bikes up 14 0. And Paul Pepper. Uh, what about Randy's performance, please? When it's a national televised game, Randy's coming to play. He's, he's coming to play. And I know him, and I've seen it. He has that look in his eyes. And it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's something special. Culpepper sees the guys pointing inside. Here's Culpepper recognition to know what's going on. Little change of the play, right? Okay, the blitz is coming. 
Culpepper quick step drop. Have a look now the back. And there's Moss with a nice fake on the hitch. Would a lot of teams run a hitch on the blitz? But what's he do? He throws it up after taking a hit. The great job by Moss to eyeball it. The catch and the finish, as always, for Randy Moss, why he's football's most talented player. Again, now, Culpepper recognizes man. He's got the safety in the middle of the field. Bad mistake by a feeble Chiefs defense to allow Moss to go man-to-man. -man. A guy that good, all that space to throw to. See the ball in the air at its highest point. Nobody does it better than Moss. The finish for the touchdown. You get no points at the end of it. They control, obviously, as you say, the whole first quarter. Meanwhile, bada bada, Dante Culpepper to Ontario Smith. He's going to run all the way to Manitoba. 63 yards, 7-3, out of ice. 10 at the half, Minnesota. Now, Randy Moss has had some big games for Minnesota against Dallas. This statistically not one of them, but, you know, it doesn't matter how long the touchdown pass is. Three yards then. Same drive. Culpepper Moss, one-yard touchdown. Boy, if Jerome Pettis can average seven inches of carry, then we certainly Moss can get a <laughs> And Bill's look tells it all. Meanwhile, he'd have another look when Culpepper to Kelly Campbell. Woo! Nice catch. He soups it in the end zone. <laughs> and Minnesota goes on to win 35-17. Confused with the four members of the Texas O-line arriving in style. But they watch as Dante Culpepper hit Randy Moss for a yard, and the Vikings lead 7-0. Vikings had 510 yards of offense. That was one of them. Later in the quarter, Culpepper to Nate Burleson. And it's quickly a Viking route, 14-0 Minnesota, a five-yard TD pass and a little trickery time. Yeah, you saw the reverse action here to Randy Moss. That draws the entire defense to the offense's left, and Burleson is able to beat Aaron Glenn. And Minnesota on the following... He waits, he waits. Now he breaks to the outside. He's got tremendous speed, folks. And that was just too easy. On the road. Now, first of all, Donna Minnesota on the road in December. Yeah, watch Moss run the, uh, run the route at the cornerback two line. Yeah. Is that a trapezoid? Yes, I have to it's go back to school for that. But it's field goal makes it 14, 13, fourth quarter. Now it's third and five. Culpepper, Nate Burleson. And look at the play he makes. That time they say the plane is infinity. His feet never go out. His, but his feet never went out, and I guess the plane goes right out of the end zone. Close to the 15-yard line. The last three starts for Dante Culpepper against Green Bay. The numbers have been phenomenal. However, as Chris circles, the record is not one and two. Yeah, and that has more to do with the the lack of defense in anything that certainly Dante Culpepper has done or what that offense has done. Away from the field and praying. Third down and five. Culpepper can't find anyone. Now he does, gets a first down. Burleson into the open field, into Green Bay territory. Nate Burleson still fighting for yards, is down to the 26. Culpepper was thinking about running. Flips it for the touchdown to Moss. Was looking to run with the football, maybe trying to find a hole. But